God is at work in the Middle East. This is something that we uh, haven't ever seen firsthand. We read about stuff that happens in the news all the time, of what's going on in the Middle East. And for most of us, uh, we kind of get lost in what we see in the news. We were always afraid to go to the church, as Muslim people go to church. It was a big fear to us. Because if we would go to church, it would be a big trouble. We left our home, we have everything. We have land, we have big house, but now we're living in a very small room. The Lord has begun working in Syria in the city of Latakia a long time ago. And our church started from zero. It started with a few people, but they were faithful people. In the last 50 years, there's all these challenges the church faced that continue and survive the struggle. We were one of the first few batch of the people who left our city, our town, our houses. The free Syrian army with under that title people came and attacked me. They, they said, we want weapon from you and we want your men. And this time we were able to survive out of this attack from them. But next time we might not, we might lose our daughters. I came to Lebanon, but it was very difficult. As we've gotten to know our Syrian friends, we have learned more about their heart. And we are not surprised by the fact that they are a part of the body of Christ, love the Lord just like we do. <laughs>
the heart of the Great Commission is just the simple command to go and make disciples. I think that sometimes we, we fail to understand at the heart of God's call to giving us salvation is that He's given that to us so that we can give it away. As I sit here with our Syrian friends, I am challenged by the fact that they are giving their faith away every day, over and over again, in a place where persecution has taken place. And I so much of the time am worried about hurting someone's feelings, uh, but yet they are putting, oftentimes, their lives on the line so that their neighbors and the people that, that, that they know in their communities can come to Christ. Now we are a Christian family, a believer, and every Sunday is like a, a holiday for us. We want to go to church and praise God. The church in the Middle East and North by Africa is growing in a way we have never seen before. Thousands of people coming to know Jesus Christ. And Anaya's house and his heart is about you, us, and the church and the body of Christ in the Middle East. And we focus on helping coming alongside the church in the Middle East and North Africa by four different area, training, equipping leaders. We come alongside of them, we train them, we equip them, they will have a strong knowledge of the Word of God. So we will have a biblical church as the church explodes into different parts of the Middle East and North Africa. The second part is relief and development. We come alongside the body of Christ over there to assist them with food bags and relief bags. And development, develop a project to help them to stand on their own feet so they can be self-sustainable. The third category we do is church building and rebuilding. As you know, many of the churches have been destroyed under severe attacks, and we come alongside of them to rebuild their churches and also to plant new churches in different areas. The fourth category is special project. We come, such as Bible printing, and many people who have never seen the Bible, they've seen dreams and vision, but they're waiting and they're searching to find the Word of God and read it. And when they first get their hands on it, there are tears in their eyes as they begin to read and give their life to the Word of God. We also work with children as what we call them the lost generation. Every child up to seven years old, all they know is war and destruction inside Syria. So we come alongside of them and we train them and we help them to go to, to get education and to have their hope in Jesus Christ. So we invite you to come alongside and serve with the body of Christ in the Middle East and North Africa. There is four different areas we can serve with. Number one, we can pray. We learned that prayer can move the hands of Almighty God. 
We've seen it working in the body of Christ over there as they begin to pray for their persecutor. We need to pray with them and to pray for them as they, they reach out to their persecutor. You can come alongside of them and volunteer and give your time and effort and talent to serve the church in the Middle East and North Africa. And third thing, we invite you to come and help with your financial contribution to expand the kingdom of God. And finally, be a bridge builder. And what we call C to C, church to church. We want to build a relationship from the church in the Middle East with the church in the West to have a strong relationship as they expand the kingdom of God together. Thank you for watching and being part of what God is doing in the church in the Middle East and North Africa.